Hello everybody, this is Pika Chris back again. And I am here for another sprite tutorial, except fortunately, this is the last one I'm going to be doing. And this one actually involves something a little bit more complicated, and it's actually resizing the sprites. Fortunately, what I actually did notice that with using Microsoft Paint, I actually noticed that I could resize the sprites without them getting blurry. Which is really thankful for the most part, because fortunately, if I save them by using paint.net, or, or yeah, paint.net, and while trying to resize the sprites, the picture becomes blurry, and that can be a really huge problem. So as you see right here, this, this sprite is completely resized. Height, 80, with over 12 frames, and 56 as the width. And why this is? Well, the original sprite sheet was really small. It was 40 pixels high, and I'm practically guessing 28 pixels wide. And thankfully, I was able to resolve that by doing a little bit of a special trick in on um, on on Microsoft Paint. So I did the same exact thing with this one, this one, and this one. So, I'm going to be doing something a little bit more different this time. So, first, you need to have a sprite sheet full of sprites. Like, say I want to take this one, and I want to put in, I want to take out all this, take out all the stuff that you don't want, for the sprite. And we're just going to get rid of all this. Almost got it. Nearly done. And there we go. Now once you get rid of all the things that you don't want, place the sprite frames down there. Down at the bottom of the first frame. You also need to make sure it is exactly um, 48 pixels long. Or high, I'm sorry. You also need to try and determine the width of this sprite. So let's put this on down here. And you may also preferably need a calculator. Just for time's sake. This way you will not be very confused about this. So. Yeah. I, the reason I use a calculator is because I really don't want to get extremely confused as to how how wide and supremely high the sprite sheet is. Fortunately, I'm not going to go through all this whole entire process by letting you watch all this crap, so I I will be back and when I do, I'm finally going to get to the part where I resize the sprite. And yes, this is a, like I said, this is a little trick on how I resize most of my sprites by using Microsoft Paint. So I'll be right back as soon as I finish this sprite sheet. Okay, now that the sprite sheet is now finished, we need to save. Make sure it's saved as a GIF. And then just give it an NPC name, like, um, say I want to replace NPC number, number, uh, huh, I don't know what NPC to replace. I don't know, I guess I'll just replace, uh, NPC 20, for example. 
Oh my god, it's lagging out on me. Eh. So once you have your sprite sheet set, go ahead, exit paint.net, or keep it on, just in case you want to, like, open it back up again. Then go here, go to Microsoft Paint, open it, take out the file that you're going to resize, right here, and then just resize it. Now this isn't really hard to do, even if you have a calculator with you. But I insist on keeping out the calculator just in case you get really confused about how big the sprite sheet is going to be. And there you have it. But, there's a catch however. If you save this as a GIF when you use Microsoft Paint, and it's saved as a GIF, the image will become blurry. So, here is the trick that I learned. Go here, save as, save it as a BMP picture. Do not save it as a GIF, JPG, -E or PNG. That will ease. I assume for the JPEG, it'll screw up the picture. Okay. Now you're gonna exit Paint.net or Microsoft Paint. Excuse me. I'm more. In, I'm more used to this then Microsoft Paint open up the file that you resized voila a perfectly clean sprite without any color issues nor is there any blares so once you do that now you can save it as a GI oh wait oops this is the this is the wrong one I, uh, hang on a sec. Voila! Perfect. So once you open this BMP of the photo, save it, then save it as GIF. Perfect. And there you have it. A resized sprite without any blurring issues. Yeah, if if no one has ever known this, then this is a trick that you can easily learn from me, especially without the help of a strategy guide or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, this is pretty much the last of my SMPX tutorial. Yeah. It's been really fun to, like, screw around with all sorts of random stuff. But I guess these tutorials have officially come to an end. So I hope you found this video to be extremely helpful. See you all later. I will hopefully see you when I finally officially make the Mario Chronicles, Mario Land 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles Unite, Spy Guys, and most importantly, huh, I wonder what other project I was going to make. Oh, yes, Castlevania 2. Alright, see you later SMBX lovers.